Hello and welcome to another Bushwhacker Review. Today we are going to be taking a look at Travis Quapple's Lafayette Ford, well basically Darlington Throwback from 2008. Let's take a quick look at the box here. I think this is the first time we're actually taking a look at a CFS COT car, but this has got your generic checkered flag sports box, got checkered flag sports, champion series, 2008 124 scale die cast collectible, got to render the car on the front there, same stuff down there, got the NASCAR 60 years logo. See, they made a total of 1,200 of these things. And he got some of the features of the car on the back of the box. Much like Lionel just went back to doing this year on their cars. Here is the car itself. Which is basically one of the first Darlington throwbacks. And this whole race weekend was kind of like a prequel to the Darlington throwback weekend, to be honest. You had three different teams running throwbacks at Darlington that year. You had this one. The Wood Brothers with Bill Elliott ran a kind of motorcraft throwback to their kind of classic, iconic Wood Brothers car, which doesn't seem as much of a throwback anymore because they actually use it for like their primary most of the time now, but back then it was a throwback. And then you also had Dale Earnhardt Jr. running a Mountain Dew throwback to Daryl Waltrip. So you had three throwbacks, kind of as like a prequel, like I said, before the Dog to Throwback Week, which is kind of funny to think about now. But anyways, let's do a quick 360 of this car. This car was a throwback to the Fred Lorenzen. Lafayette Ford, Ford Galaxy back from the 60s, which is kind of cool. They were able to get the same Ford dealer on the car. Somebody else ran one of these once before this. I forget where it was, but I remember it was coming across a picture of like a Bush series Lafayette Ford kind of throwback. I'll have to go see if I can find that picture again, but this is probably the more memorable one. This die case is a little bit inaccurate, but we'll get to that later. CFS is... COTs were a little bit wonky here and there, but I think the Ford was the best looking of all of them. Because the Toyota body had like lights that were like really giant and curved around the body too much that I never really liked. The Chevy would just look kind of like stumpy, but I don't know. CFS definitely had its ups and its downs. They had like the Challenger mold, which was their probably like peak of die cast accuracy, but some of the COTs, some of the early stuff was a little bit more wonky, but the Fusion was pretty solid. But anyways, let's get down to sponsors. On the hood, you have Ford Drive One. On one side of the hood, you have 850 horsepower. And on the other side of the hood, you have 358 cubic inches. You got Ford Fusion number 28 on the front. Down the side, you got Lafayette Ford, Fayetteville, North Carolina. You got K&N, Safety Clean, Sherman Williams, and uh, I have no idea what that logo is. If someone can tell me, please do. <laughs> got nothing on the C post. On the B post, you have Ford Fusion. You got K&N, FreeCreditReport.com, and Coca-Cola. Was Travis Quapple a Coca-Cola racing family driver? <laughs> Got a very, very tiny NASCAR 60th anniversary logo. Not sure why CFS didn't make that any bigger. Does say Sprint Cup, Coors Light, and all that good stuff right there. You see both the back and the deck lid are both completely blank of sponsors. You got number 28 and Ford. Not sure if there's anything on either of those for the real car. I imagine they would have at least put like a Ford logo there or a Lafayette Ford on the back or something. I don't know. You got the same stuff down the other side as usual. Let's take a look under the hood, which is hard to get open. Completely hard to get open. Can you open now? <laughs> These CFS hoods were definitely a little bit weird. There we go. See, there's nothing on the other side of the hood, but there you can see the CFS engine detail if you want to see that. Take a look under the deck lid. Get your typical fuel cell and such back there. The roof flaps do, of course, open. And there's the underside of the car if you want to see that. Now, interestingly enough, you can see on the back here, it is a sample. I actually got this sealed from eBay, and I had no idea it was a sample. It was one of those cars, like, you just get, and you're like, wait, wait, sample, what? That's honestly kind of the fun thing, was that these CFS cars were actually, like, shrink wrap. They were, like, sealed, so it wasn't the kind of car where you could just, like, know exactly what you're getting. If you have a sealed car, you might end up with a sample or something fun like that. That's kind of cool, but other than that, it would, that would be kind of like the din plate for Lionel. Like, it would say, like, this is number 257 of the run. But I don't, I don't know if they had plates for protos. They actually, I don't think they ever really said, like, proto on the plate, but I'll have to know. I've never gotten a CFS prototype, so that's kind of cool. Now, basically, the one thing that's kind of inaccurate this car is that the real car had, like, lines. It had, like, a line that went from here and, like, went down the top of the number and then had another line that went kind of around the bottom of the number. It also had like a door outline around the door. I kind of like it better without those two lines. I mean, the door outline would have been fine, but the original car didn't really have two lines on the car, so I kind of like this to go better with the original, but it's worth pointing out that that is inaccurate. 
If you want this card, it's actually very, very hard to find. In 2008, Checkered Flag Sports made both this and a California Highway Patrol kind of police car that Travis Quapple also raced that year. Both cars are impossible to find. Really, a lot of the more random Checkered Flag Sports, smaller team stuff is kind of hard to find. Because that was mostly what Checkered Flag Sports did. Later in the years, they kind of made some like, oh, here's just Clint Boyer's Cheerios car, another Hendrick car, and it's just like, wow, <laughs> no one cares. But when they made this kind of unique small team stuff, it was kind of cool. Like I said, they're really not bad cars. They got like a rubber window net, has a little antenna. I do like how the uh, COT wing is actually kind of like carbon fibery in texture. That's kind of cool. You see the inside is actually pretty detailed, more than what we had from Lionel, if you can even see in there. But these really aren't bad cars. The wheels look nice. These are almost kind of more detailed than what Lionel's Actions Platinum Series was at that point, so that's kind of cool. But I think that's all I to say. This has been a review of Travis Quapple's Lafayette Ford Darlington Throwback from 2008. Hope you enjoyed, and thanks for watching.